Yo, it's the name they say is running the game. Come military man flipping the building. Z3, Zachary, that's me. What's on my Xbox 360? Now nah, just play. What's on my Xbox One? Yo, everybody do these videos. I'm lying. But I saw Lamar Wilson do it. I was like, yo, I can do it too. Because I got some cool stuff on my Xbox One and all that. So, so we're going to go to my games and apps. And we're going to go. We gonna go. We gonna go with Mike in that, and we gonna start off with with the boring stuff. We gonna start off with the membership. I got Xbox Live Gold, obviously. Then we gonna go to my apps, Amazon Video, Amazon Video. Don't know why I have it twice. Don't know which one to delete. Don't know if it's the same thing. Don't even use it. Audio CD player, Blu-ray, cause you know I had to watch Dragon Ball Z season seven, eight, nine on that Blu-ray. Cortana, EA Access. I don't have EA Access yet, but it's here for some reason. Don't even know what this is. Forza Hub, Help, Microsoft Edge, Mixer, NBA, because you know you got to get that NBA stuff going. Netflix, OneDrive, didn't even know this was there. One Guide, Settings, Twitch, Ubisoft Club, Upload Studios, Welcome, and then the most used app on this Xbox, the WWE Network, for $9.99. Go cop that. Xbox Accessories. Xbox avatars, and of course, YouTube, which is also a very highly used thing on this Xbox. And then, I'm going to go to my to my uh, ready-to-install section. I got the Bellator MMA Onslaught that I bought for Xbox 360 years ago, and I guess it's, it's compatible because I have it here. It's been here since I got the Xbox One. <laughs> then I have the Dying Light demo. Friend told me to try it out. I tried it out. I didn't really like it. Then, we got the NBA Live 2014 demo. That's how long ago this was. That I've had my Xbox. <laughs> then we have the EA Sports UFC demo. I got the game as well. For Honor beta. Uh, eh, glad I played it because I didn't like it. So I didn't end up getting For Honor. The Gwent the Witcher card game. Uh, it's a game preview. NBA Live the Pro-Am. This was actually fun. But I'm glad I didn't get um, NBA Live 2016. And Trials Fusion. Everybody downloaded that demo. Trials Fusion is actually fun if you play with a bunch of people. McCory, what did I recently install? You had to do the WWE Network. Little preview with the Hitman, but y'all saw that earlier. Roblox, it is what it is. <laughs> Tekken 7. And I just recently got Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. What I got to update? I got to update Amazon, so I guess I got to keep this one. I got to update Battleborn. Uh, bad spoiler. Then I got to update Blu-ray player. Oop, I hit the mic. Then I got to uh, update Call of Duty. Still haven't played it. At the update EA Access Hub, which I still don't have. Got to update Fallout Shelter, Final Fantasy, Grand Theft Auto, Killer Instinct, Mafia 3, Minecraft Story Mode, Netflix, Overwatch, Phantom Dust, Roblox, and Watch Dogs 2. I got to update all of these. And I only got 89.8 .8 gigabytes free. So yeah, ain't nobody getting updated. <laughs> ain't nobody getting updated. So yeah, now let's go through the game. That's why y'all here, right? Y'all want to see games, right? And I'm, I must explain every single game. I got Alan Wake when I uh got... Quantum Break came with it free, got it for Christmas, haven't played it yet. Assassin's Creed Chronicles, got it free, haven't played it yet. Assassin's Creed 14, I said 14, <laughs> Assassin's Creed 4, Black Frag, my favorite Assassin's Creed. And this is the, this is the game that made me an Assassin's Creed fan. Because <laughs> I hated 3, but I loved 4. So yeah, also free. Assassin's Creed Syndicate, I bought this. Gold Edition, $20. It was alright, it was really repetitive. Assassin's Creed, the Enzio Collection. I haven't played it yet. I just got it. I have never played these three games, so we're going to test them out, see what it is about. Batman Telltale series. Pretty cool. I finessed, I finessed the Xbox. Low got it for the cheap, cheap. On Black Friday, instead of buying the whole season pass, I just downloaded uh, episode one for free. And it got the season pa and got episodes two through five for like cheap, cheap because of the sales. <laughs> I don't know why they did it like that. <laughs> Uh, Battleborn got it for ten dollars a day after Christmas for no damn reason. I don't like this game really, but Toby is the best character. Battlefield Four got it for like four dollars and fifty cent. Uh, I only played these two Battlefields, and Battlefield Four is my favorite out of these two, obviously, because Battlefield Hardline was whack. I got it for like four dollars and fifty cents also. <laughs> Ow! I hit the mic. Sorry. Borderlands. I, I oh man, Borderlands is rough, bro. I don't like that. I didn't like this Borderlands. Roland, what's up? Borderlands Two. This is my favorite out of the three. Uh, who did I use? I used the DLC, the Technomancer. I think her name, that's who I used. Borderlands 2 was the favorite one. Borderlands pre sequel, it was alright too. This was actually the first game 
Then I really was like, yo, I'm going to try this first player's perspective view. And now I can play first player games because I went through all of these. Brothers of Tale Two Sons. A lot of people love it. I, I thought it was all right. It was all right. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. This is my first ever Call of Duty. Got it for a birthday from my cousin. Haven't played it yet. It is what it is. I'm going to play it once I beat Hitman. I promise. I promise. D4. Dark Dreams Don't Lie. This game was trash. It is what it is. DC Universe Online. Haven't played it yet. Dishonored. Got it for Christmas with the... Because I... Uh, well, it was pre-ordered. Dishonored 2. Grandma gave it to me. You dig? And I got this as part of it. Played it. It was cool. I think I like this one more than this than two. I don't know which one I like more, actually. Dishonored 2 was cool as well. I, I beat it twice. I did it as Emily and Corvo. Dragon Ball Xenoverse, probably the only game on this Xbox that I have played that I have not beaten. I could not get past that one fight. I didn't like Xenoverse. EA Sports UFC, one of the first games I've got for Xbox. And this was actually the reason why I got the Xbox One, because I wanted this UFC game. And the rest is history. EA Sports UFC 2, complete surprise that this game was even coming out. Glad it did. Liked it. Ready for 3. Fallout 3. I didn't really like Fallout 3. Got it free with Fallout 4 when I got Fallout 4. Uh, the day after Christmas I ordered it. Fallout 4. I loved Fallout 4. It is what it is. You either like 3 or you like 4. I didn't like 3 so I liked 4. It is what it is. Fallout Shelter. Haven't played it yet. Final Fantasy 15. Enjoyed it a lot. Enjoyed it a lot. Got this for Christmas actually. But it didn't arrive till after Christmas. I think we ordered it like the day of before Christmas. My mama was like, yeah, you know, I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you this. And I was like, all right, cool, cool. I ain't mad at you. Fast and the Furious 2 presents. No, Forza Horizon 2 presents Fast and the Furious. Okay, I lied. Dragon Ball Z and this. I never beat this because I'm not good at beating racing games. I got really far, though. I got really far, though. <laughs> Forza Motorsports 5. This was, I guess, technically the first game I got because it came free with the Xbox. Yeah, I played it a little. It was cool. A little, little nice little run through. Games of Throne, you know, I had to beat that junk. I don't watch show, but I sure liked it the game. Goat Simulator, free. I, haven't, I, mean, t I mean, I played it with my friends, and we all thought, like, what the hell is this? But I haven't really played it, played it. Grand Theft Auto Five. Fun fact about me, I beat this game five times. I'm lying. I beat this game four times. Twice on the 360, and twice on the um, Xbox One. I think I might have beat it an uh, extra time, just because. Hitman, at this current day that I'm recording this, and you're watching this, I'm playing this. This is what I'm currently playing. It's really intense and stealthy, but I like it. Hitman's cool. Just Cause 2, I played a little bit, and a little bit that I played, I liked it more than I played Just Cause 3. I beat Just Cause 3 in like four days. It was really stressful. I didn't like it that much. Kane and Lynch 2, y'all know that was just a free game with gold. Haven't played it, but my friend used to like the first one, so I was like, no, let me try this one, see what it's about, but eventually I may or may not play it, because, uh, Games that I buy get first dibs of me and play. Games I get free, yeah, eventually I'll get to it. Killer Instinct, got them both, for, got, got it free. Waiting for the last one to come out for free, the last part, so I can have the entire set. Everything unlocked, and I can really just start playing this. Killer Instinct 2 Classic, oh god, I didn't like it. Killer Instinct Classic, oh god, I didn't like it. They came with the, uh, the, the free stuff. Lara Croft, another free with gold, and the Temple of R. I don't know what that word is, sorry, but I haven't played it yet. Life is Strange, pre-ordered it, had to, because I wanted that bonus episode, it's a deluxe edition. Yes, sir. Life is Strange, played it, uh, at first I didn't like episode 5, but yo, 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 it's a good game, it's a good game. Y'all seeing that playthrough, go watch that right now. Madden 15, did I buy this? I think I bought this. You know, you always gotta get your little Madden on, even though if you don't watch it. I don't watch, like, football like that. But, yo, Madden's always fun to play. Madden NFL 16 got this for Christmas, I think, la not last year, the year before last. Barely played it. I played it while playing Brothers, that's why. Mafia 3, and I was rushing the most just to get to, uh, Fallout. And, um, Mafia 3, yeah, I beat that real quick because, uh, WWE was coming out, like, the next week, so I had to, like... I kind of unfortunately had to rush it, but I enjoyed it. Marvel's Guardian of the Galaxy just got it on the summer sale. Like, uh, I haven't played it yet because I'm waiting for all five episodes to come out. But I got it for the cheap, cheap, so I went with it. Metal Gear Ground Zero. Uh, thank God this was free. Ain't no way I was ever going to play for a glorified demo. Fans are playing Jesus. This was one of them. This is my first ever Metal Gear. Bro, this junk was so stressful. Especially when you using this junk. Yo, it was so stressful, but I beat it. Minecraft Story Mode. I, I've said it a billion times. I enjoyed the first part. Did not. I mean, I did not enjoy the first four episodes, but I enjoyed the second and then the bonus episodes. Mirror's Edge was a stressful game. Oh my god, it was stressful. Got it free, though. 
and I beat it. It was stressful. Mortal Kombat X, you know, everybody got Mortal Kombat X on the Xbox. Everybody, you can't have an Xbox without having this game. Everybody got this game. Murder of Soul Sons. I still want to play this game. This is one of the free games I got to put on the on the list to play quicker because I, I don't actually want to check this out. NBA 2K14, the first game that I actually bought for um the Xbox One. Everybody had it. I'm like, yo, look at them graphics. Why does it look so good? I need that Xbox One. I finally got it when I got it, and I had to get this game with it. NBA 2K15, it's probably my favorite Xbox One NBA 2K, NBA 2K16, probably my least favorite, NBA 2K17, indifferent, still got the prelude, I guess I could uninstall this, I don't know why I still got it on it, NBA Playgrounds, just got this recently on the summer sale, I actually liked it, and it's not like NBA Jams, it just looks like it, Overwatch Orange Edition, played the beta last year, and I was like, yo, I gotta get this game, I went to pre-order it, turns out you can get this game a day early if you pre-order it, so I couldn't pre-order it, because I was gonna pre-order it the day before, but yeah, I got it the day that it technically came out, thankfully. Phantom Dust, don't know what this is. Saw it was free, just downloaded it, why not? Quantum Break got it for Christmas, like I said. Enjoyed it, enjoyed it a lot. Rise of Tomb Raider, I got this on day one. I beat this in like two days. I played it crazy, and then I got tired, and I couldn't beat a mission. And then I went to sleep, and then did the mission again, and I beat it. <laughs> beat the mission real easy, first try. Roblox, I played this a lot last summer with my brother, oh, not my brother, my friend's little brother. Because he kept asking me like every day if I wanted to play. And I was just playing. And it was fun. It was cool. It was cool. Rise, Son of Rome. I wanted this game last year. And I was considering whether or not to buy it. And I didn't buy it. And then it came free with gold. And I was happy I didn't buy it. And I got Metal Gear instead. And it, everything worked out. Saints Row 4. You know I love my Saints Row. So you know I had to get it. I really got it for this. Which was trash. But I got to go down memory lane again with this. So it's all good. Sherlock Holmes Crime and Punishment. I actually wanted this because it looked it interesting. And then again, it was free with gold, and I was hyped, so I got it. And then I played like oh, a couple of hours, or like not even a couple of hours, a couple of minutes of it, and yeah, I didn't really like it. Skyrim, it was being hyped up by everybody that was telling me to play it, and I finally got it for my birthday. And I enjoyed it, I enjoyed it. Sleeping Dogs, I've been waiting and waiting for this game to go gold, and I finally did in December, and I got to beat it again. Sleeping Dogs is great, great, great. State of the K, saw the E3 trailer, e State of the K did quote, State of the K 2. And I yo and I was like yo I gotta get this game this game looked tough and yo I'm about to do a gameplay of this starting tomorrow because I don't remember, I I I want to do a walkthrough of it go through this again sunset overdrive at first I didn't want this game then it was free trial played it I liked it it got it for Christmas Tales of the Borderlands why this is probably my favorite Borderlands of them all this game's funny fun and all that I had to install the Tekken Six and the Tekken Tag Tournament. Because I still got the disc, popped those boys in, put them in, had to practice for when Tekken 7 came out. And I was fully prepared for Tekken 7, got them practice working. Tekken 7, y'all know what it some Tekken 7, what's good, Miguel, Harang, Steve Fox was good. The crew, haven't played it yet. I am still mad that this is not two players. Techno Technomancer, same cousin of game, Call of Duty, gave me this for uh Christmas. Yo, this game was... Uh, it's not the greatest game ever. Just leave that. that. Walking Dead, and you know I had to go through that. You know I love the Walking Dead. Walking Dead, Michonne, probably the worst. Obviously, out of all of them, Walking Dead season one. When I was debating whether or not whether I was gonna get the Walking Dead or not, I was gonna I was like I gotta buy this. I was gonna buy them both together. Then the Walking Dead was free. I played it. I think Thanksgiving, uh, like 2015. And I was like, Black Friday sale, I'm going to get this bad boy because I got to play this right now to see what happens next. The Witcher 2, I got it for like $2 on that summer sale. I liked the 3 so much, I had to get it. It was like $3, why not? The Witcher 3, amazing game. You know I had to cop. Wolf Among Us 2, yo, got announced yesterday that there's going to be a part 2 finally. This is my first ever Telltale game. Thief, downloaded it free with gold. Probably one of the first free with gold games that I downloaded. I think Assassin's Creed 4 was like first real one that I download, but Thief, Theft, Theft, that's what's called, haven't played it yet, I actually bought this for my cousin for Christmas or his birthday, don't remember, so I saw a little bit of it, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, it was free when, uh, they think the month before Rise of Tomb Raider came out, and you know I had to get it for that free free, because I wasn't gonna buy it over, Warrior or Chi 3 Ultimate, oh my god, this is free with gold, don't know why I have this, this game's pretty bad, uh, I went to my friend's house and left all my games at home, and this was one of the few games that had multiplayer that was on, like, digitally, and we had to play it, and it was not great. Watch Dogs 2, loved it. Great game. Glad I got it. Got uh, I got it for 60 bucks, but it was the gold edition. I was like, oh, so I get all the other stuff for free, so I was cool with it. Watch Dogs, ugh, I didn't really like this game. It was one of the first ever games I got for Xbox. 
WWE 2K15, you know I got to get my WWE 2K15, 2K16, 2K17. 2K16 is one of my favorites. 2K17, I ain't really like that much. So 2K18 probably going to be like NBA 2K17 where it's like in between. But yeah, I am exhausted. That's my Xbox. That's what's on my Xbox, a bunch of games. And if you're going to come and steal it, it don't even matter because most of them are on disc because disc games are just cheaper than digital games and that's just how it be sometimes internally all i got on my xbox technically is ea sports ufc forza killer instant got life is train that's probably gonna get transferred over sunset overdrive uh watch dogs wwe nba am i adding you know but everything else is on that external hard drive which is also filled it's two gigabytes bro i'm probably gonna have to get a Start uninstalling stuff. So it is what it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. What's on your Xbox or whatever you have? Please like, share, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm out. One.